Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the first 10 things to do on your iPhone SE 2020. So let's dive in and configure your brand new and shiny iPhone SE. Now the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna quickly go to your settings, and then you wanna scroll down and go into your battery, and from here, quickly check the battery health. You tap on it, you wanna make sure where it says maximum capacity, right next to it the number says 100% or at least 99%. That means your battery is in fact brand new and peak performance capability and it is in fact a new smartphone. Now if that number is 80%, 85%, 70% or anything below that, there's a problem with that battery and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you exchange that phone and get a brand new one. So quickly do the battery check to make sure. Now the next thing you wanna do real quick, right, go back into the battery settings over here and make sure you enable the battery percentage indicator here. Now on the top, you'll see a battery icon, but it does not give you a number. So when you tap on this one, now I can see I have 65% battery life. So that's simply convenient and easy to see. All right, next stuff you wanna do is you wanna go into your display, all right, and you wanna scroll down and you wanna make sure you change the auto lock feature to 30 seconds. Now for this video, I'm gonna keep it at five minutes, but you wanna keep it at 30 seconds, so when your phone is just sitting on the table, after 30 seconds, the display turns off. Now if you don't do that, you're gonna waste your battery and you don't wanna waste the battery. So make sure that's at 30 seconds, and when, when you go back, the next thing I want you guys to do is there's an option here that says bold text simply enable that. What that's gonna do is, it's gonna bolden the text, it's gonna be much more easy to see. Sometimes when you're under bright, direct sunlight and you have non-bold text, it's a little bit harder to see, but with this one, it just makes it nice and pronounced. All right, so the next thing you have to do has to do with the auto brightness. Now normally, the auto brightness setting should be somewhere here, but it's not, it's actually hidden. So you wanna turn off auto brightness so you can control the brightness manually either from here or if you pull up the control center, you wanna be able to do it right from here, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna go back into your settings, main settings, go into accessibility, and then go into display and text size, and you wanna scroll all the way down and turn off auto brightness. Now you can control it manually if this is turned on, it's very easy for your display to be too low in brightness or too bright based on ambient lighting. It's a nice option, but it's not perfect. So manual control is desirable. All right, so the next thing that's very important is when you turn off your phone, okay? What happens is everybody, if you just turn on your phone, everybody can see all your notifications right over here. So that's kind of a security problem. If somebody sends you a text message, somebody calls you, if you get a special notification that's supposed to be private, anybody can just press this button here and they'll see all your notifications. On top of that, people are also able to access your control center from here and they can do something to your phone that you don't want happening. Now, remember all this time, your phone is supposed to be locked and inac inaccessible, but here's somebody swiping left and right, up and down, and looking at all your information, no problem. So next, I'm gonna show you how to make sure to disable that. So you wanna go into your settings, you wanna scroll down to where it says uh, touch ID and passcode, you tap on it, okay? Dump in your password, and then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll all the way down, and you wanna make sure all these things are disabled. So this says allow access when locked. Today's screen, notification center, control center, even reply with a message. All these things are enabled right now, even when your phone is locked. However, when you turn off all these guys, and now when I go back into my lock screen, everything is disabled, okay? You just see the very basic things, but look at that. I cannot bring up the control center. I cannot swipe to this side to see other notifications. I cannot bring down the today's screen. So that's the way you want it for maximum security. Now, when I go back here, go back into Touch ID, okay? And I'm sure you have registered a couple of fingerprints by now. 
So I have finger one and finger two. Now I know that my finger one is my index finger and finger two is my thumb. But what I can do is to make it more easily readable, I can tap on this one and simply rename it to my left index just like this. So I can do this with all these guys so everything makes more sense. Additionally, you want to enable all these features. One, two, three, four. Enable them, boom, 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 because you're going to be able to use your Touch ID passcode for all these operations, Apple Pay, iTunes purchases, iPhone unlock. If you disable these things and try to do these things, you have to go and you have to start typing in your password just like this, which is annoying. So enable all those features. Now one more thing you want to do is let me turn off the phone. You want to make sure that the raise to wake feature is enabled. So you can quickly raise your phone. Just take a look at it. It's going to raise the phone. You look at what's happening and you put it put it down on the, uh, on the table and move on. Now you have to go in and enable this feature if it is turned off. You, you want to go into your settings, go into display and brightness, then go down a little bit and make sure raise to wake is enabled. If I have this disabled and I turn off the phone, I can't just pick it up to take a look at it, give it a quick glance, okay? It's not going to turn on. So enable that option if you want it. Now the next thing has to do with security. So basically, if you're, the, the way your phone is set up right now, if it's turned on, if you give it to somebody, they can access your photos, they can go and they can delete applications. I can press and hold here and I can start to delete applications, move them around. They can edit your phone without your knowledge and they could mess things up. Now there's a way to disable these things. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings you want to go into your screen time option, which should be right here, the screen time option on the top, okay? Now, when you go in here for the very first time, I'm going to tap on continue. I'm going to say, this is my iPhone. I'm going to say, turn on screen time. Well, it turned on already. So once you, it's turned on, you want to swipe down and go into co content and privacy restrictions. You tap on it, all right? And you get all these options. Now, when you use it for the very first time, it's gonna ask you to pick a pin number, just give it a pin number. It's a separate pin from what you use to unlock your phone. It's only for this. Once you're in this option, what you can do is, you can tap on allowed applications, okay? And then you put in your screen time passcode to access the setting. I think it was this one, all right? And you can disable all these applications, mail, Safari, FaceTime, camera, Siri, wallet. So. Let me enable, uh, let's go back home real quick. You see there's Safari, okay, right there. Then we have uh, the camera, which is right over here. Now, when I go back to settings, if I go over here, okay, if I go to allowed applications, put in my passcode, I can go here, disable these guys. And when that happens, when I go back out, those applications are disabled and inaccessible. So that's how you limit from people messing up your applications or accessing things they're not supposed to. Let's go back here. I'm gonna show you one more important thing. Let's enable all these guys. The other thing that's very important is you don't wanna allow people to go into App Store and purchase things without you being aware of it, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna tap on iTunes and App Store purchases and you can uh, allow or disallow installing, deleting apps and making in-app purchases. So if I were to go like this, and I say don't allow, okay? And also, if I were to go here, let me just put my passcode, and say don't allow, take a look at what happens. I go out, I try to delete an application, it doesn't let me. When I tap on edit, you don't see the X symbol on the application to delete the application. And if I went to the App Store to try to purchase something, it's not going to work because the App Store is right now hidden because I'm not allowing anybody to mess up my phone. So that's a very important setting. It's right here under screen time, content and privacy restrictions. All right, let me set these up and move on to the next tactic. All right, there we go. Now, one more important thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, okay? You wanna be in the main settings. You wanna scroll down to where it says sounds and haptics. You wanna tap on it. And what you can do here is, well, what you should do is disable vibrate on ring. So if your phone, if somebody calls you and if the phone is ringing, 
You don't, you don't need the vibration option because that's eating your battery life and you can hear the ringtone anyway. So make sure you disable this option. Now this one here, vibrate on silence should be enabled because now if somebody calls you, you can't hear them, but at least you can get the vibrational feedback if it's in your pocket or something, at least you know somebody's calling you if you are in a meeting, in a classroom or whatever, okay? So very important two settings, simple but important. Now one more thing, if you're about to, if your battery's about to run out on your phone, you wanna make sure you enable the low power mode so it extends your battery life in case you're texting with somebody, maybe you're doing something important and you don't want your battery to die just now. So what you wanna do is you wanna actually put it here in, in this area. Right now it's not here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, okay? And then you wanna go into your control center, which is right here, and then tap on customize controls. And then these ones right here are enabled options and these are disabled options. All these can be enabled, okay? But you, what you wanna do is you wanna enable the low power mode. You tap on it, it now goes up here. You can tap these other things as well, even put dark mode right there. Now when I pull this up, I've got the dark mode here and I've got the low power mode, I tap it and that's gonna activate the low power mode which is going to extend my battery life in case I'm in a pinch. If you don't need it, boom, back in business. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. That's the first 10 things you wanna do on your iPhone SE 2020. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech because more iPhone SE videos are coming very soon. For now guys, have a fantastic day. Drop any questions, comments, concerns down below.